talk about matting. Matting helps to set a photo off on the page, especially if the paper that it's on happens to be a little bit more patterned than you'd like. Take for instance this. This is a summer photo, the paper is perfect, but it's a little busy and it's hard to see the photo. So if we were to take a little piece of paper that's just the right size, look how that sets it off. Let me show you how I get to that point. I pick coordinating paper, in this case orange, and I measure the size of the photo that I have. If I want, in this case, a quarter inch border all the way around, I'm going to cut my paper a half an inch larger than the photo. In this case, I have a three and a quarter inch photo. So I want to add a half an inch to that. That makes that three and three quarters by three and three quarters. Then I would mat the photo just like I showed earlier. And there we go. In this case, I need the extra mat anyway because look at the finished page. Here we have three photos, all the same size, but they're offset very nice by using this background of a mat of orange that brightens the whole page and just takes it away from all the busyness. But the, all these letters are great on the page. Now, if you would like to have a larger mat, then look what we have here. This is a little bit larger mat. This is a little bit more than a half an inch border all the way around. It looks great on the page and sets the photos off, gives nice focus to the page. Here we have something that has just a little bit more um, layering to it. There are actually two different mats here. One that's patterned that picks up this pattern paper right here, and then this slightly pink that matches her outfit. So it brings it all together, colors from the pattern paper and her outfit. If you want to get a little bit more adventuresome, try something offset. Here we've used pattern paper as a mat to set off the photo and add just a little bit more interest to the page. Do whatever you'd like, but have fun with it.